in an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. The smallest one was Madeline. And though they studied every day, countries near and far away, and tried to learn to read a map, spring fever caused the girls to nap. And what is the largest country in Asia? Madeline? Uh, Tokyo? <gasps> Oh, Madeline, Tokyo is not a country, it is a city in Japan. Though Miss Clavel tried her best, the girls did not know east from west. She feared the girls would fail their test. Lord Cuckoo Face was unimpressed. Mademoiselle, surely someone can tell me the capital city of Italy. London? Uh, uh, Stockholm? Huh? <gasps> wrong, wrong, wrong. It is Rome. Perhaps you know something about your own city. Where is the great leader Napoleon buried? The Eiffel Tower? <laughs> the Arc de Triomphe? I know, the Louvre Museum. <laughs> A thousand times wrong! The answer is Les Invalides! He urged them, coaxed them, ranted, railed, but still the students failed. Do none of you know the answer? And failed. Oh. Miss Clavel, if your pupils do not improve, I will have to report you to the board of directors. Do you understand? Oui. Oui. Mes enfants, you really must work on your history and geography. But it is so hard. I know it is hard to study on such a beautiful day, but it is the right thing to do. And we should always do the right thing. But though they tried and tried and tried, they could not keep their minds inside. Pepito! Huh? What? Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it, Madeline? Oh, it's a Pepito, be careful! Please, come down right now! Pepito dropped into class one day with something interesting to say. Le Bavard is holding a treasure hunt. The first clue of the contest is in the paper. <laughs> Whoever solves the clues first wins a chest full of money. Oh! Yes, the paper was sponsoring a big hunt for treasure with a chest of money for the top winner's pleasure. A thousand francs! on the front page of the newspaper. Ooh, the, the front page! But you are rich, Pepito. Why do you want more money? So I can buy this little yacht. It has a real motor. I do not care about money. This is very wise, Danielle. I just want to be very, very famous. Money and fame are not the most important things, mes enfants. Let me see, Pepito. So, mes enfants, should we become treasure hunters? <laughs> Class was dismissed. The girls were delighted. They would seek treasure, as the paper invited. Money and fame they wanted to find, but their teacher had other treasures in mind. Mais oui! Perfect! They left the house in two straight lines. The weather in Paris was exceptionally fine. Wait! Where are we going? What is the first clue? You will have to wear a coat and hat 
Well, you shop for this and that. What does it mean? Well, peut-être, perhaps. The first clue led them to Les Halles, the busiest marketplace of all. This must be it. And everyone is wearing a coat and hat because it is outdoors. So where is the next clue? Shh! There were other treasure hunters galore. From the very rich... Oh. ...to the very poor. They sought the clue both low and high. Till something caught Pepito's eye. Here it is! The clue! It says the next clue in your treasure quest waits where a great leader rests. I know, it is the president's house. That is where he sleeps. But it says rests, not sleeps. Oh, can you think of another great leader? Hmm. Hmm. I know. It is the Emperor of Napoleon. Oh. Treasure hunters ran off with a rumble leaving behind a horrible jumble. Oh, no! Quelle horror! No wonder the vendors groaned and grumbled. Oh. It's you! It was an accident! We must clean up this terrible mess, mes amis. Now we will never get to the treasure first. Madeline is correct. It is the right thing to do. We can do it! Let's And so the group grabbed Mop and Broom. Then went in search of Napoleon's tomb. Miss Clavel, where is the tomb of Napoleon? See for yourself, ma petite. Montparnasse, Moulin Rouge. Here it is, Les Invalides, Napoleon's tomb. Well, what are you waiting for? Hurry! Look, the tomb of the great Napoleon. <gasps> Look, the crew. We may win after all. The clue. That is it, all right. Out of the way! Shall we go together? Help! Help me, someone, help! <gasps> no! Someone is in trouble! We must ah! help! Oh, no! Now we will never win! While the treasure hunters ran off on the double, Madeline and friends helped someone in trouble. <laughs> what is the matter? String? A little gum? <gasps> gum? Chewing gum! Madeline, you know the rules. But just this once. Madeline knew just what she was doing. What she needed was string and some gum for chewing. Nothing to it. Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> huh? Madeline caught a lost bracelet and then went back to find the next clue again. The next clue! What does it say? It says a sheep is not a goat and an ark is not a boat. There are no goats in Paris. There are no sheep in Paris. 
And there is no ark in Paris. Hmm. Ah, it said the Arc de Triomphe. They ran to the Ark at a rapid rate, but when they arrived, they were simply too late. Oh, no! Out of my way! We are behind. Perhaps they will get the wrong answer to the clue. Attendez! There it is! <laughs> It says, don't ask how, don't ask why, just prepare to climb up high. It must be the Eiffel Tower. But we will never be the other treasure hunters. Unless we find a shortcut. Miss Clavel, we need a map. Thought you would never ask my petite Madeleine. For towers so high, but you have to stop before reaching the top, so you don't bump your head on the sky. No, no, so you don't bump your head on the sky. Sing a little love song to Paris. Stroll along the Champs Elysees. Read all the news, or shop for new shoes, or the bar allows chocolate souffle. Yum yum. Oh, the bell allows chocolate souffle. Ah, Paris, ooh la la. Ah, Paris, ooh la la la. Ah, Paris, ooh la la. As for me, I love Paris. Sing a little love song to Paris. The banks of the Seine, left and right. It's all that you seek, a city très, très chic. And it looks even better at night. Oui, oui. And it looks even better at night. Un, deux, trois. À Paris, ooh la la. À Paris, ooh la la la. À Paris, ooh la la. As for me. They climbed until they nearly burst. Phew. But they reached the top of the tower first. This time, we are the first to see the clue. Listen, solve this clue and you will not fail. The contest ends when you set sail. Voila! There is the clue! For my children. Out Where of is my the way! way. Wow. High above Paris, there it sat, a tiny, helpless little cat. What a sweet kitty. It must have an owner. Hurry up! Vamanos! Let's go! Did you find the clue? See, si, see, si, it is a boat. Let us go to the Seine now! Paris, Paris, Paris. So much for winning. If we could only find a shortcut. And on our way, we can find the cat's owner. Ay, ay, ay. I might have known. It is only right. How come every time you do something that's right, we get left behind? Oh, Pepito! <laughs> Madeline found the cat's owner and then started in search of the treasure again. We can still beat the others. I think 
think it is too late now. We have lost. I, must <laughs> I am so sorry, Bebido. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lord Cuckoo Face paid a call and found that no one was home at all. Hello? Hello? Where could they be? They should be studying. The longest river in the world is the Pacific Ocean. That is not a river. So displeased was Lord Cuckoo Face, he decided Miss Clavel should be replaced. I will tell the board immediately. Miss Clavel must be fired. <coughs> Pepito and friends rushed off to the sand, but found that they were too late again. Solve this clue and you won't fail. The contest ends when you set sail. Do not look now, but we just failed. Maybe, but these are not the only boats in Paris. What about the boat you want? The toy yacht? We. Oui. There are other boats and other places to sail. There is no time to waste. We will just follow the map. There is no treasure here. Follow those children. I must be play. Please let it be me. And so they continued without hesitation to Tuileries Gardens, their new destination. Come, Bobito. But there was just one <gasps> complication. The treasure! Watch out! My boat! My boat! Your children? Well, take it. It is yours. <gasps> the contest winner felt just fine, but not Pepito and Madeline. But they did the right thing. Ah. We lost the contest. Ah, but we found each other. Mm. <sighs> Madame Dubois, winner of last week's treasure hunt, has rented a house in the country for herself and her five children. Recently, the family has been sleeping in the park. We did the right thing. We oui, the right thing! Attention, s'il vous plaît. Ahem, Lord Cuckoo Face is here to quiz you on Paris history and geography. As the 12 girls in their class he faced, he planned to have Miss Clavel replaced. Very well, we will begin. A build for the World's Fair of 1889 is... The Eiffel Tower! Hmm... The Arc de Triomphe was planned by... Napoleon! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In what museum is the Mona Lisa found? The Louvre! Congratulations, mes petites! <laughs> Well, I must say, I am quite pleased. <laughs> you all know your history and geography of Paris, and we all have your wonderful teacher to thank. Thank you, Lisa! And thank you, little girls. And as a reward to you all, I would like to treat you to a movie matinee. To treat! <laughs> Me too? <laughs> yes, Pepito. You also. <laughs> the Paris newspaper Le Bavard sponsored a treasure hunt contest last week. Madame Dubois was the happy winner of the contest. 
But the real winner was this young lady and her friends. These pupils of Miss Clavel would have won the money if they hadn't been so busy helping people all over Paris. These good-hearted children represent the real treasures of Paris. This is even better than having your picture in the paper. See, we are famous. Can you <laughs> because they were helpful along the way, Madeline and friends were stars that day. They left the theater in two straight lines. Back to the old house covered with vines. The proudest one was Madeline. They brushed their teeth and got into their beds. As visions of Paris appeared in their heads. They loved each street, each park, each store. The most beautiful city was theirs to adore. And that's all there is. There isn't any more.